to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Immy and today's video is actually going to be a DIY. So the reason I'm sat right here is because my DIY is actually based on my headboard of my bed. Now this bed is actually from Ikea, I will link it down below so people can buy it as well. I think it's approximately like 150 200 pounds the actual bed because it comes with four drawers underneath. Um, and I just wanted a plain white bed frame when I moved, which was a few years ago now, just because I didn't really know what style I liked and all that kind of stuff. So my DIY is actually based upon a Pinterest-inspired, rustic, reclaimed wood headboard. Now I've seen these everywhere, I use Pinterest a lot, and I think they're gorgeous, they're very Scandinavian style, like modern Scandinavian, and I really like the way they look. Um, however, they cost a fortune to buy, let alone make, and even on like YouTube and things, I never find them that cheap, or is around $50, in that case they're not actually that good. Um, in my own personal taste, obviously I want like a real wood one and things like that. But, I came across this and I feel like this is a really cheap way to do it. It's also something which could be removed and therefore you could spend £20 doing this. And if you change your mind in six months time, a year's time, then you can also go back to the white bear one. So I've laid out the equipment you're going to need right here and I'm just going to go through them. The first thing that you'll need will be a tape measure. This is just a typical five meter one. The second thing you're going to need is actually a sunny knife. I mean, these are super sharp, so only use it if you kind of know what you're doing and be super safe because you could get seriously injured. Be careful. Then you'll also need a metal ruler of some kind. Um, this is just one I've borrowed off my mum. So, yeah. And then you'll also need some multi-purpose like spray fix you can also get like spray mount stuff but this is really good because it's super strong and you can use this for anything like putting down carpets so i know it'll be sturdy enough to do this and then the very last thing but also the most important thing are these self-adhesive vinyl planks and they are this dark wood color and these are from being cute and they actually only cost me about 10 pounds and like 79 pence or something so this is what the planks look like when you open them up. There's actually 10 in this pack, and like I said, they're not real wood. They are this vinyl, so they are like flexible and thin, and they can be cut through. And then they have this backing on them, which you peel off to reveal oh, the adhesive sticky side there. I also want to note that they did have these in a load of different colors. They were all the same price, and they had, I think, like 15 different shades. This is just the colour I went for. I think it looks the most realistic with all this and I really like the way it looks. Also, I've just noticed, I said there was 10 in this pack and there's 7. So hopefully I have enough. If not, this is a DIY fail, but we'll see how it goes. So now that I've got my measurements for how big my boards are, I'm actually just going to measure my bed frame and see how far I want them to come down and also how I want to stagger them. So if I want a half and a whole, then a half and figure out that way. Obviously everyone has a different taste. I'm also thinking about leaving a small border around the edge of the bed, like maybe two millimeters or so, just so you can see the white coming through so it doesn't go all the way to the edge. Cause that way, if it was right to the edge and you walk past it, you might constantly be knocking it and things like that. But I'll see how much I have. I'm measuring because I didn't realize um, that it might not just fit what I did but I was hoping that once I put the middle one on I can kind of put it equally in half but the boards are kind of bigger on my bed than I expected however it's not a problem because after all this math if you can see it we have 639.8 centimeters in length so that's all the boards lined up, that's how long it'd be. And we only need 597.2. So the first top three layers, I will easily be able to do with the planks that I already have without actually cutting them up too much, if you know what I mean. However, the bottom layer, which will probably be just below my mattress, so I'm not too worried about, may be made out of like three or four pieces instead of the two which I originally planned for. So it was going to be three, two, three, two, but it might more likely be three, two, three, four. However, 
it will be covered as long as there's no patches a lot of like missing bits again it's below the mattress so you'll only really see the edge bits anyway and maybe the very top bit um but then you have duvets and pillows so not really but that <laughs> is how um it's done so far so let's get into making just so that it stays put. Obviously if you want to remove them then I wouldn't recommend doing that because it might leave a hole in the headboard but I'm going to do that because if I do want to take it off I'll just take them out and then fill the holes and paint over it. But just so they don't like move or if I knock them in the corners or anything. So that's what I'm going to do now and then I will dress the bed and then show you an overall how it looks completed. So yeah. and this is the final outcome as you can see I have dressed it and I'll put a lot of cushions and pillows on it to make it look pretty which I love this one by the way is from Urban Outfitters this one is from ASOS and that was from Ikea these have all been mentioned I think in previous um, homeware hauls if you want to go check those out they are on my channel um, again this is super easy um, it obviously was if you have everything already it's really really cheap the wooden pieces were 10 11 pounds the glue is like a five you can get off amazon for really cheap um a standing knife if you i mean you don't need a standing knife you could use something else but i think that's what's safest again like 10 pounds for amazon everything i had already though so for me this only cost me like 11 pounds but if someone was to buy something from scratch you'd probably do it for 20 pounds and i think that's so cool it gives such a great effect and also people don't presume that you're best from ikea because it looks hella cool I really hope that you found this video interesting and maybe you tried it out yourself. If you did, then please let me know in the comments down below. It would be great to see that someone might have been inspired by this video. I've wanted to do this for such a long time and I'm finally there. I think it was so quick and easy, so cool as an effect. I did get my boyfriend to help me though, so maybe you might want someone to help you like even out and things. But you could also definitely do this by yourself if you didn't have someone to help you out. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching again. Really hope you enjoyed it. My social medias will all be linked down below if you want to give them a little follow. Also like this video and subscribe to me if you haven't done so yet. It would be incredible and really, really help me out. I love you all so much and I will see you next time. Bye.